At Avon Fire and Rescue Service, we're dedicated to making our community safer. And that includes you, your customers, your staff and your business. Our Business Fire Safety Team work with local businesses like yours to help you comply with fire safety legislation and protect your business. We can assist you to understand what the legislation means for your business and how to keep your business safe. Did you know that around 60% of businesses that have a fire simply never recover and literally go out of business? Don't let this be you. Getting advice now can save your livelihood, reduce costs by being prepared and help you to keep your business in business. The Regulatory Reform Fire Safety Order or FSO was established in 2005 and came into force in October 2006. It covers all business premises. So if you're in business, we are here to support you. When thinking about your business, who would you consider to be your responsible person? It might be you, the building owner, an employer or the business owner. It could be the occupier of the premises or those who are responsible for the maintenance of the building. What are they responsible for? The Fire Safety Order, or FSO, requires them to ensure a suitable and sufficient fire risk assessment is carried out. This must identify all of the necessary fire precautions and arrangements needed to keep you, your staff, your customers and your business safe. Is there adequate means of escape from the building? Have you got sufficient means of detecting fire and raising the alarm? What firefighting equipment is required? Are your staff trained and know what to do in the event of a fire? Depending on your premises and business, you may want to appoint fire wardens if necessary. But it doesn't need to be as scary as it sounds. There are five simple steps to fire risk assessments. 1. Look for fire hazards within your business premises. Blocked and locked fire escapes. Flammable liquid stored near cooker. Sleeping above cooking areas. Cooking over a flame when alone. Two, identify people at risk, such as staff and customers. Three, Remove or reduce the risks you find. Make sure fire escapes are clear of any blockage. Store flammable liquids away from naked flames. Install suitable smoke detectors or heat detection systems. Instead of cooking over a flame, use a microwave instead. 4. Record what you find. You should also inform, instruct and train your staff what to do in an emergency. 5. Keep your fire risk assessment under review. We want to support you to comply with the FSO to reduce the risk of fire at your premises to help keep your business, employees and customers safe. Our role is to work with you to keep our community safe and your business moving. If you'd like this video in a different language, including British Sign Language, please contact us.